What the fuck does that even mean? Someone tell me. It does not make any fagging sense. End of story. End of discussion. See you later. Go away, girl. Na 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 na. Go away, girl. Na 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 na. My hidden treasure chest, golden grand piano, my beautiful Castillo, you, oh, you, oh, I give it all. Give me one a reason why I should never make a change. Maybe if you want me to know that things will go to eating with you so much last night and I'm going to do it again tonight because for some reason I have a Saturday in on my own which makes a change so I've just been literally chilling all afternoon and watching YouTube videos and had a shower, tidy the house, just been let's chill. 
So, a few of you have commented every time, not every time, a few times when I have made myself a stir fry. So this is kind of like a new thing. Um, like stir fries for me are not a new thing, but adding the stuff in that I do now is a new thing. So let's just go through what I've got. I started off with two garlic cloves, one whole onion, one whole courgette, about six baby corns chopped up into three, a whole yellow pepper, a whole bag of bean sprouts, 75 grams of corn chicken pieces, four broccoli heads and then I wanted to use up the stems because I don't like chucking stuff away so I've got broccoli stems in here somewhere as well. A whole big flat mushroom and two sticks of celery and some ginger as well. So when I was staying at Boyo's last weekend he made a stir fry and it was like fucking out of this world. It was just incredible but he'd used this Instead of using like a stir fry sauce, he'd used like, you know, the spices that you can add, but it was like a seven spice something and it was so nice, but I don't have that. It was like eating like a stir fry with a sauce on it. It was so tasty, but I don't have any of that. So I've used half a teaspoon of turmeric in, because I cooked the bean sprouts in a separate pan because it's not my, I don't have a wok. I've only got a frying pan. So I like to cook them in two frying pans. So I've got half a teaspoon of turmeric in with all the veggies, then half a teaspoon of turmeric in with the bean sprouts, half a teaspoon of cumin with the veggies and half a teaspoon of cumin with the bean sprouts, and then half a teaspoon of mild curry powder in with the veggies. And then just obviously you saw me put on loads of salt. So that's what I've done this evening. No idea what it's going to taste like. So I hope it tastes good. So let's have some broccoli first. Tastes like curry broccoli, <laughs> which is nice, I suppose. It's better than having it bland because I have cooked with the Fry Light coconut oil, which doesn't even taste like coconut oil. It leaves no trace of coconut oil flavor at all, which is kind of cool, I suppose, because some people don't like that. But yeah, so been in work today and it was super, super duper busy. Um, but we had the dream team on. So that was awesome. So we bossed it. Um, it's basically been raining all day. And only recently just stopped. So I haven't been able to put my washing out on the line at all which is really annoying because it's still damp and in the washing machine from yesterday when it rained on the line i'm really craving have any of you heard of like the dessert restaurant called casper's i'm really really craving one of them and it's been a long time since i've craved one of them um i was craving one last weekend or was it yeah it was last weekend last friday and i ended up going to mcdonald's and having a mcflurry instead but I can see the way I feel right now. I can see me going to McDonald's drive through tonight and getting a McFlurry. Because I don't have anything in the house that's going to satisfy me. This whole meal on its own is two points on Weight Watchers. Because of the corn chicken. Everything else is zero points. Everything. And I'm just like, I should be having a meal that's probably like ten points. But like you can literally see how much food I've got. It's ridiculous. So much food there. So, but that's all two points. So it should have had some carbs in it really, but I don't know. Kind of means I've got like, so I have porridge for lunch, I have five points for that. So that's five, I don't know. I've got loads of points left, I've got 10 or 11 points left for the day. And then after this I'll probably have Eight or nine points left for the day. Is that? No. Seven or eight. And then I've got all of my weekly points left to use as well, so. Yeah. This is really nice. I haven't got to the bean sprouts yet. 
I find the bean sprouts have a very short shelf life on them. I'm going to shut that door. Can you hear it beeping? That is my fire alarm. That's my fire alarm. I came home last Sunday. It was beeping. And I called um, somebody to come and repair it. Probably just in case they're changing the battery, but somebody can come fix it for me. I'm not fiddling around with fire alarms. No way. It's dangerous stuff, that is. So they need to come fix that for me. Mm. Yeah, bean sprouts have a very short shelf life, don't they? And the, these particular bean sprouts should have been eaten by the 7th of June. It's now the 10th of June. Yeah. That's nice. They're not that great. See? There's my broccoli stem. Waste not one not. So last night, I was in bed editing, and my neighbour texted me, she's like, night cap, babe? And I'm like, really? I'm up in like five hours to go to work. She's like, go on, you only live once, as if you've got to go to sleep now. And I was like, God's sake. So I had like a half a cup of hot chocolate left, I took that over, and I didn't have a drink, because obviously I was working, I had to be up at 5.45. We ended up sitting there thinking, talking about politics all night as that. I could be sleeping now. <laughs> and then I had to come home and edit my video. I was the falling asleep edit in it. Oh, nightmare. And then I didn't get it up as early as I wanted to. Nightmare. I don't have any plans for this evening. You know what I'm like. I get really like when I don't have any plans. So yeah. Oh, Evelyn. I think it's Evelyn who asked me. I make my porridge with milk, skim milk. And I just guesstimate how much milk. I just pour it in so it sort of like covers the oats a bit more. And then shove it in the microwave. And then stir it. And then keep doing that until it's at the consistency I want it to. It wouldn't be nice if you made it with water. Don't get me wrong. When I run out of skim milk. Um, and I have to use only semi-skim milk. Then I'll use half semi-skim milk. Half water. But... Not nice. And you also asked me about the clothes washing. Do I wash? Do I mix wash? No, I don't. I do do lights and dark separately. It's just I happen to have two piles of dry washing in the same pile when I was sorting them out in that clip. I would ne I hate washing my darks with lights, and it really annoys me sometimes when a little black sock sneaks into the white or light load I'm like how dare you stupid sock oh yeah as if I've been doing this for 10 minutes already god mm -mm -mm -mm. my back hurt So hungry. This is really unsatisfying so far. It's nowhere near as good as Boyo's. His was probably one of the best stir fries I've had. It was the bee's fucking knees. I need to go and find some of that seven spice stuff. Don't sell it now, do you see? I don't really want to make a special trip to Tesco just to get blood and spice. Seems a bit ridiculous. Mm. Have I got to tell you what I'm drinking? 
a cup of squash. How glamorous. Noms. Ugh. Maybe next time I do this, I'll face the other way. So my face is facing the window and then the light's coming on my face. That would make sense. This would be so much better live. I can see why this would be a best set as a live because then you can ask me questions and then I can answer them. Maybe tomorrow. No, Holly will be back tomorrow. Next week. Maybe. We shall see. I'm excited to get my petticoat for my dress though. Be able to show you then. I hung it up to so let the creases drop out of it. My dress. But I've hung it inside out so I'm not looking at it continuously all the time. Need some salt. You do myself a damage with all this salt. We talked about this before, haven't we? I get cramp anyway, so I don't feel like there's enough salt in my diet. Probably is. Way too much, probably. But then I've got a low blood pressure, I've got a low baseline. So I don't know if that's got anything to do with it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I heard that blood gives you high blood pressure, but I've got low blood pressure naturally. So I'm assuming that that means I can have a little bit more salt. I don't know. Could just be talking tosh. Who knows? Who actually really has meals like this though, really? This isn't really a meal, is it? It's like... Just a plate full of vegetables. I look hanging when I go like that. Look at my bags. Ooh. No wonder I need makeup. Jesus. Yeah, definitely the light's not helping. At the risk of entering a political debate here on my YouTube channel, what do we all think about the DUP? LOL! It feels weird. I normally have music on when I'm eating, see? Or be watching YouTube videos. If I was on my own, obviously. I still have the radio on when I've got Holly. I don't even know what I'm thinking about. Just like looking off and I'm like, mm, yeah, whatever. Don't, just can't register what I'm thinking about. It's that fire alarm. You know, sometimes you just zone out from it, and then all of a sudden it's like, ah, get out of my ear. It is well annoying. I'm not sure about this whole McBang thing. Don't know. Don't know, don't know. Shut up. Corn chicken, anybody? I'm in two minds. If I should get an early night tonight, I reckon if I lay down, go to bed like in an hour or whatever, I won't be able to sleep.
Uh, I know what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Probably not good dinner, dinner subject conversation, but um, having the coil put in did trigger off a another period. So I'm currently on my third period in the month. Top stuff. Hopefully they will regulate themselves now. But who knows? Who knows? I hope so. Because that's just shit. Um, ish. Not satisfied. Not in the slightest. That's just like left in the saucy stuff. A tiny bit of beef out. Come in. Mm. Ice cream, white chocolate, waffles, crumbled up digestive biscuits, butterscotch sauce in my face. That's what I want. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not going to be able to stop thinking about it all night. It's so pathetic. How some food, literally, it just takes over me. It takes over. It's horrible. That will literally consume my thoughts all night. No matter what I do, no matter what I try and do, no matter if I don't have something, like, sweet, but, like, less detrimental now, it won't satisfy me. Because that is what I've got in my mind. I hate this. I haven't been like this for a while. It's very frustrating. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to go and finish my squash and then I might come back to you later, I might not. But if I don't, good night. If I do, see you later. Good night.